place to go for anime, manga, comics, video games, all pop culture information. This is the place that you need to be. This program is brought to you by Black and Studios Entertainment Division. Remember, it's Black and This is the place to go for anime, manga, comics, video games, all pop culture information. This is the place that you need to be. This program is brought to you by Black and Studios Entertainment Division. Remember, it's Black and. This is Casey Kasem, and you're listening to the Elijah Bailey Show, uh, Oklahoma's favorite podcast, bringing you 100% auditorial pleasure. Thanks for downloading the Elijah Bailey Show from iTunes or BlackStudios.com. And here's a word from some of the folks that make it possible for you to hear this show for free every Thursday. The Elijah Bailey Show is a podcast that is sponsored by Black and Studios, Oklahoma's premier podcast production studio. To start your podcast journey today, visit them at www.blackandstudios.com or send them an email to podcast at blackandstudios.com. If you enjoy all their podcasts, including this one, then follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Black and Studios. Remember, it's Black and. The Elijah Bailey Show is also sponsored by. Hey everybody, Elijah 5000 here. The Buckety and myself, thank you guys so much for supporting the show. But we wanted to make sure that you know where to go to get amazing original pop culture t-shirts. Go to our sponsors at riftapparel.com and at checkout, use promo code Elijah Bailey Show to save 10% on whatever your purchase is. It could be clothing, it could be backpacks, it could be posters, it could be a figurine that they have. Whatever it is, you get the lowest price. So again, promo code Elijah Bailey Show at checkout and save 10%. Man, what else? Uh, movies, movies, trailers, all, right. all that good stuff. Hey, folks, we're back. We're live. We're live, and you can see tea. us. So let's do it. Three and two, one. Thank you for tuning in to episode one thirty four of the Elijah Bailey Show, the Dirty Dozen, the Dirty Baker's Dozen. I think we can use that. Yes, because Greg doesn't care as long as it's not just. A baker says it. Yes. I think that works. But we're here today. I thought you were going to go see Venom. Yes. So we were going to talk about it. Yes. And I was like, I'm excited because we saw trailers of it. We saw the Venom versus the soldiers and how he responds to damage and injuries and the symbiotic bond between old Tom Hardy and Venom. But mm-hmm. alas, you have not seen it. I have not seen it yet. I will see it by next week. Yeah. I think um. we're going to go tonight. I think, and check it out. But before we get into everything, we've got some video game news, some anime video game news. Uh, we have a Dirty Dozen challenge that we're going to do today. And we also as, got one guy that we left off of last episode, who? the live action. Ah, yes, 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 yes. 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 And uh, I have a son of a bitch of the week story mm. that I feel like everybody mm. wants to hear. They need to hear. Mm. It, it's It's one of those deals. But when you hear that music, you know that the fallen angel himself, the Buckety, wearing a Mario t-shirt, seven bucks is what he said he paid for it. And a Mario hat. It is a uh, bargain. And I, Elijah 5000, wearing a Walmart buff shirt. That it's is, a bluff. I mean, it's reversed. It's a bluff. It is a bluff. It's but a bluff. The Elijah Bailey Show starts right Yesterday. now. Yesterday. It's like listening to the music. I don't even want to say anything. Just like water, 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 water. You know who that reminds me? Have you ever watched uh, Chowder? Probably not. Cartoon Network. Oh yeah. Yeah, they made the black person like his name is Schnitzel, and he doesn't speak English. Like water, 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 water. You know how they do. But here we are. Welcome. Yes. Episode one thirty four. One thirty four. A dirty dozen of the Elijah Bailey Show. Dozen. And Hello, everybody you, on Twitch. Remember, oh. if you're in the Twitch land and you do enjoy this show, please yeah. share, follow. Um, also, uh, come to our Instagram page, Elijah this, Bailey Show. What? This is why you're the perfect co-host. What? This is what? why. Wait a second. What? Uh, now that I remember what? saying that you're the perfect co-host, when is uh, the black box coming back? Uh, it is coming back very soon. I got one more Welcome to the Family episode to do, and then I'm done. 
Okay, because I was going to say – Damn, this table's gotten scratched up. Hey, Sorry. Hey, 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 don't mention that because they can't see this side. So they're seeing Stone Cold Steve Austin in the middle of the table, it's Luffy, the Shanks, uh, Goku, and then we have Vagabond. If you guys have not read Vagabond, it's a manga adaption of the sword saint himself, Miyamoto Musashi. So if you don't want to read the Book of the Five Rings, which I don't know why you wouldn't, you can read this about his life story, um, accurate – some accurate, some not accurate descriptions based on some of his family members. And then they filled in things that they didn't know, uh, like years of time. Like Musashi was gone for three years or five years. Well, what did he do? He must have been traveling. He hmm. must have been fighting. But this is where he left off in his journey. This is where he picked back up that everybody knows. And this is what was written in that span on the Book of Five Rings. So let's take that cohesively and let's fill in the blanks. Interesting. It is. I love Samurai. I love... Uh, especially if it can be tied into real life. And this is one that grabbed me at the same time that I was heavily reading uh, Baki the Grappler. Mm -hmm. And you know how Baki is. Yes. And then also Tekken Den Tough uh, and Tough, which are the counterparts to Baki. Both shows have sons that are trying to meet expectations of their father. One is a living beast, and he wants a rival, so that's why he had a son. The other one, uh, somewhat spoilers, you find this out fairly soon, but his son is adopted, uh, but they bring him into the family, and he's supposed to be the next heir. So how does he live up, even though he's kind of like a little shit, a little punk, to his family standards when his dad is known as the Silent Tiger? Hmm. So I was reading those two manga, and then this one popped up, and I was like, I've got to read it. I've nice. got to read it. Are nice. you reading anything no. lately? Mm -mm. You're just back on watching funny anime are we in the funny mood right now uh, i did just because i was bored i did go back to watch Sa uh the ventures of sake uh season oh, yes. one did, was it, is he on your list mm, no maybe okay okay i'm just maybe, i'm just asking maybe maybe not. i'm just asking um and then that's really about it I, I, I'm, I'm on a little gundam kick right now so i just finished uh stardust uh memories double three i almost, I almost started, uh, uh, they just brought it to Netflix. Hang on. Origins. Wait. No, not Origins. Universal Colony. I think so. Yeah, I think or, or, yeah Unicorn. Unicorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just started it makes it bad. Unicorn is not bad. It's actually pretty good because they do a good job at keeping, you know, kind of by the original Gundam. Yeah. Um, you see a lot of, you know, hints towards um, Gundam. But it just... I don't know. I, I I hate I hate the unicorn. You just Gundam. don't. Okay. I just really don't like it, and that's not just because it's, it's a good guy Gundam. I just yeah. Don't you just like don't it. like it. Yeah. Uh -uh. I know. I I mean, you can. Everybody has their favorite Gundam. Everybody has even within their their favorite anime a character that they they like, and then there's one that they just like. I just can't get with that person. I yeah. just can't do it. I can't do it. So, but I, I we started that, and then um, Netflix is having like Netflix and Chiller or Thriller. For the month of October, so like scary stuff, and it has been disappointing to say the least. It, they have one. There was a movie that came out in theaters, didn't do well. Truth or Dare came out in 2018. There's a 2017 version that was on Sci-Fi called Truth or Dare. Okay, and it was real fucking stupid. Like people not listening to other people, people wanting to just go out and do what they want. Like the very first scene um, is a black guy on top of a roof. And then a white girl at the bottom, like, just do it, just jump. He's like, no, I can't stand up. He's like, just stand up and jump. And the premise is, whatever this ghost or this entity is, you play truth or dare. It gives you a dare. You have to do. Uh, it gives you primarily dares. You have to do it within the time limit. So it says, uh, like the the girl in the beginning, pour acid on your head two minutes. Mm -hmm. So you have two minutes to do it. You can out you can out think and outsmart the game, but you have to do it or the dare does use what they say. So the guy's like, Burn your hand on the stove. He's like, No. So he I think he had like a minute, two minutes, or uh, four minutes, and it ran out. He went to the kitchen, fucking chair went underneath him, pulled him to the stove, and he fell with his hand first on the stove and he couldn't get it off until his skin was burnt off. Then the next dare was like the girl had to eat the skin mm -hmm. and she ate a piece of it and it's like, No, you have to eat all of it. And if she doesn't, then, you know, she dies and somebody else dies. So that's the way it is. And you have to play three rounds of Truth or Dare. It was a shit movie. Hmm. Uh, we watched all of it to see if there was any twist or turn that make it any better. And it didn't. But there is one that's kind of like R.L. Stein. It's called Creeping Creeping Out. And mm -hmm. it's like this little kid. And he's got like a mask. You know, the movie The Mask or mm -hmm. like the comic. He has like something like that, but it's gray. And he wears it, but 
he's supposed to be this kind of entity that humans can't see. But if you hear his whistle or his song or whatever, then you know some weird shit's about to happen. So it's not scary tales. It's more like just creepy shit. Like, oh, that's it's kind of weird. So hmm. it's like the new R.L. Stein uh, goosebumps, if you will. Or Are You Afraid of the Dark is what it really reminds me of. Man. I see you looking at it over there. Well, because I was going to mention on our, our show today, uh, something me and Tony mentioned last night on the AOS podcast was the Jump Force beta. Yes. Did you and sign up? I signed everybody up. Black and Studios got signed up, too. So you should be looking for an email. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as they they, they sent me, because I did the Naruto the Shinobi Strikers, the Black Clover, the Dragon Ball Fighters. So they sent one. You always get lucky. I do. Yeah. It's multiple email accounts. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> but, yeah, I sent one out. So we should be getting an email sometime soon. I, I think well, I got like 40 today, but I'll check tomorrow. Well, if you are selected, uh, the dates of the the actual um, beta. beta is on first uh, – session one is on October 12th yeah. from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then the second session is same day from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Mm-hmm. And the third session is the next day from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., which will be Friday and Saturday. And then the last session is on the 13th, which is this coming up Saturday, mm-hmm. from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. And are you – if you even without getting it, who do you expect the, the characters to be on there besides Goku and Vegeta for the beta? Because they've shown, like, a pretty deep roster yeah, so far. Yeah, they've shown a pretty deep roster, so I'd be surprised if all of them wasn't there. Because I know that – the Dragon Ball Fighters, they were showing a deep roster, but it limited to maybe 10, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. But they have, they've had so many DLC. They, I know they have Bardock. They have the uh, the Super Saiyan Blue version of Goku and Vegeta. They have Broly. I think they're getting ready to update the movie because the movie's coming out, as we'll talk about later, um, December. So I think that they are going to be... In the next couple of months, I think, like Broly and then Peron Isn't Broly dead. high in it? But they'll do like a, a skin change, you know, like oh, okay. update them to this new Broly, the canon Broly, if you will. Canon so. Broly. But I'm I'm excited because if we get it, I want to at least see Ichigo. I want to play with Ichigo. I want to play with Hiei because Hiei's just got that those feels about him. He's just like, I don't give a fuck. But Hiei versus I don't like, Hiei. like Sasuke would be a good one. Even I love Zoro. He's got his three sword style, but he doesn't have the same demeanor. He's a drunk. He's bad with directions. When it comes down to business, he'll whip your ass and yes, go back he to will. drinking. He will lay down the hands. But he's not a Hiei. He's not one of the or even Hiei and Vegeta. It's not a bad guy turned decent guy. It's not a what confused you, bad guy because <laughs> I really don't care for neither one of them. I mean, no, I don't. I got no, respect I mean, like, from yeah, them. like fighting them though together because they went on the same journey in different stories. Oh. Uh, okay, what about uh, how do you feel like Light Yagami is going to be with the Death Note kit? Because he uses. That's going to be interesting. Because you saw Yu Gi Oh, didn't you? Yes, I did see like, Yu Gi Oh. Uh, I wanted she, to play the trailer, the, but it's like yeah, the, Obelisk, the Tormentor, and uh, all those sacred the, cards. Who's the, the, the magician, the female version? Uh, Dark Magician Girl. Yes, Dark Magician Girl was in it. Um, who else? If they could do that, they could bring Ash into the tournament. You don't think Ash is, is old I enough? I need to, to see if Yu Gi Oh's going to be there. I need to see uh, old boy. Who? Uh, Cop- Capito, Capito, from Yu Gi Oh. The dude who had the blue eyes. Oh, eye for- Ka- uh, uh, Kaiba. Kaiba. There we yeah, go. Yeah, with the yeah. three eyes, uh, white dragon. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! He had a brother. Didn't give a fuck. He he loved his brother, but he was all about the tournament. Yeah, he was all it- about that paper. And if they're going to have him, one. who's the bad guy? Then do you want Pegasus? With his Millennium Eye? No, nah, they don't need to have all that. They just need to have those two. Yeah, that's it. You think just limited, like... Yeah, the... we don't need to go hardcore into Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, Maybe so... later on down the road, like DLC. Well, or... which anime do you think they should go hardcore and have, like, at least three or four characters from? Because you see they did it with Bleach, but Bleach has got a live action that we talked about last episode. They did it with, with Dragon Ball, too. Well, I mean, yeah, because they got a movie coming out. Done it with Naruto. Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah. Um... I mean, that's enough, in my opinion. So every other anime, they add just two characters? Like I minimum? think so. So, like, if they I mean, did. three. I think three should be tops, uh, unless they come out with DLC packages and whatnot. Okay. But I think, you know, I don't want to see just flooded of... But like the like Yamchas? Yeah, man. Like, it's like, like oh, we don't need the whole squad. And I understand that, you know, they're part of the squad, but this game is are more they, than just that. 
So yeah. just give me the best characters and let's keep pushing. There was a time when you needed the whole squad because I put that picture up and it was like Yam Chatia and Chow to Krill and it's like I remember that. Hold, yeah, 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 like yeah. hold them off until Goku here uh-huh. gets here squad. But now you don't need we'll that need no that. more. We'll need that. We'll need that. All the only person from that that squad you need that never came out is Master Roshi. Proven on Dragon Ball Super, he True. can hold down the whole realm of the squad. Yes. But uh, without further ado, let's get into one of my favorite segments uh, as of late. Yeah, well, somebody better give him a call and place that son of a bitch under arrest. Oh, yeah, it's time. Son of a bitch. Sir. Son of a bitch all the week. Yeah, you heard this. Who is your son yeah. of a bitch? Is it the week or is it a month? Is it? Oh, is this, this is more of like just a pain in my ass. Yeah, because I said this on uh, the Warrior Way. I was like, at, in, in January, my bucket of fucks was empty. Now it's like a hole to China, dude. It's like a well where that little grudge bitch is living way down there. And it's like, Ouch. I don't give no fucks. I'm but listening. What happened, man? I called you the day that it happened. Cause I, no, I'm <laughs> your son of a bitch. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I was going to lunch, uh-huh. picking up food and stuff at Walmart, getting ready to go home, mm-hmm. and almost... Got into a fucking fight. Yeah, somebody almost, almost lost their life in a very brutal, ugly way. You know how uh, Takamaro gets when he fought that bear? Yeah. It would have been yeah. like that Takamaro, but versus like when Ipo was learning with him and he Ouch. elbowed him in the head. Because it's like a little, it's a short person. Not okay. like short. He's probably probably shorter than my wife, 5'6". Okay, short person. And has like a big ass white Ford truck. You okay, know, okay. The one where you got to get steps. Uh, no, no. He, he it wasn't just big because it was him. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it was just a normal size. No, no, no. I mean, it was big because that's, he needed that for his ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It didn't but have it was any, just like. He couldn't afford the rooms. So. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, rule number one is just don't walk up on people's car. That's the first rule. Now you never know whose hands are actually registered as weapons. You don't know who has a gun. That's the first thing. That also. That is, that's a, that, that the is hands, also. Like I've taken, and I was, it was weird because I was thinking that day, like while I was at work, I was wait, like, Wait, 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 go, go and tell us the story. Okay, okay. So he comes up and is boom, 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 knocks on the window. He's like, can we get the spot? Can we get the spot? Can we get the parking spot? And so I had my headphones in. Uh, and this was like within 30 seconds of sitting down in my car. Like I just sat down in my car. There was a line there. Uh, is it that busy at Walmart? Fuck no. Were you parked that close? I was right in the front spot. Okay. Right in the front spot. There's probably like one car behind him at that time. At the time that I got out of the car, there was like five cars behind him. So okay. he's already being an ass. But he comes up and... So he bangs your window. Yeah, so I take out my headphones like I'm listening. So I wasn't. I heard him the first time. It's yeah. like, now you piss me off, so I'm just going to take my time. And I opened the door, so I was like, what? And he goes, can I get the spot? Damn, man, I'm trying to move. So you open the blah. door. Yeah, I cracked okay. it open because okay. I was like, I don't know who the fuck this is, and mm-hmm. I'm not gonna have somebody kick the door because that's really gonna piss me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I have yeah. that Wolverine mentality. Like, if you do something to me, I gotta kill you. Okay, okay. So, so you open the door. Yeah, and I was like, when well, I'm done, and I close the door, and he's talking more shit. He goes back to the truck. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait. Just I'm just gonna wait now because he needs to have some patience, like everybody else. Okay, you're just trying, you know, educate. Yeah, him. and then he gets out. He gets it's out like, the second time. Second time. God damn, man. You Now you act like a little hoe. You can't get a car, blah, 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 blah. So I open the door, and my first reaction is never to kill. Like, yell. Oh, kill, yeah. But it's never to yell. Okay. And so I was like, dude, you could have waited in your car. And then he's talking over me like stupid shit. And so that's when, like, the grandmas, the kids, because it's like the voice of God. Came, like, I was right in front of Walmart where it echoes. And I was like, if you would just shut the fuck up and get back in your fucking car, you could have had this spike, you dumb bitch. And, like, dude, I. So I what did he say at this point? What did he say? I would have got an A plus from Satan and God himself on the shit. That I, my grandma would have been clapping for the shit that I learned, the shit talking that I did to him. But he's like, Man, blah, blah, you need to get out of the car and move. I already had a spot. And I was like, man, get away from my fucking car. And then I stepped up out of the car. And that was like that scene from Dumb and Dumber where he's like, he throws the salt behind his back. He's like, oh, man, you spilled the shot, the salt. Yeah. You got to throw it. And then it's uh, Seabass gets up. <laughs> and he's like, oh, 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 shit. He's like, he's like, man. And he starts backing up to his car. I was like, what? Why can't you move your fucking truck back so I can go? Or you can shut the fuck up and go somewhere else. I was like, there's 30 fucking uh, aisles here for you to park somewhere else. You can park over there. You can park over here. What the fuck do you need this spot for? Does it have your name on it? Shut the fuck up. Get in your truck and move the fuck back. He's like, man, I'm going to get security. So I was like, okay, fine. Go fucking get him. I ain't going to do shit. And so I get in the car. I was like, let me call my wife to let her know I'm going to be home just a little late for lunch. So I call her. I was like, hey. 
uh, I got this dumb fucking bitch up here. And it's like, it's, it's a guy. I'm not saying like bitch for a girl. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying he's a bitch. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm, I might have to whoop his ass, so I might be home a little bit late. Let me call you back in a minute. And she goes, okay. So I go in, and I was like, uh, the lady at the door, nice, sweet old black lady. She knows me. And so I was like, hey, is somebody working here today to get him to move his car? Because I can't move my car. He wants me to, and I, just real professional, he wants me to break the law, go through this. There's, uh, We have yeah, handicapped yeah, people here. Go ahead with, have, the, go with the, the, the fool. Yeah, yeah, the, the vocab. And I was like, we have, the, uh, we have uh, certain days that I go up there. There's uh, the special people they come up there and they do their shopping the older you had the old handicap bus from the home come up there and so i was like they're they're walking around i'm not gonna go through this just have somebody come out if they can i don't know if they're busy and then he saw that he's like, oh well the dude who ran up on you yeah he might have some friends here and he's like oh so you try to tell me if i to move my truck you to move i said yes that's what i said like 20 times out there while you're sitting here yeah, older so there ain't no excuse for it. Then he gets outside, and he's like, man, why could have moved this? You ain't nothing but hoe, and your mom didn't raise you right. I was like, you dumb bitch. If you'd have moved your fucking truck, I could have gone already. What the fuck are you sitting here getting this? Oh, this one lady involved. You're sitting here pissing me off while I'm trying to go on my fucking lunch. And he's like, oh, why did you just knock you? That's, he got on his phone. And he said, oh, there's some bitch up here. I'd knock his ass out. I said, okay, let's go then. He's like, well, let's meet around the car. I was like, fuck that. Your car stopped. I'm not starting my car to waste my gas to go around to whoop your ass when I could beat the fuck out of you right here. <laughs> Get, put your fucking shit in park. Let me whoop your ass, and I'll move your truck back. When you wake up, it'll be right there on the fucking side where you could have parked 20 fucking minutes ago. Pause. So the reason why yeah. I'm laughing, ladies and gentlemen, is that <laughs> uh, this has been a talk of many discussions. Mm. Uh, me and Callan have had this talk. <laughs> uh, me and DT has had this talk several times. Mm. And I even want to say me and t- uh, uh, Talon yeah. also has had I, this I talk. I feel like a lot of people have had yeah, this yeah, talk. Yeah, we've all had this talk. And uh, <laughs> even even me and DeCoven had this talk uh, where, man, like, what, I wonder what, what I wonder if, <laughs> if it would ever happen if somebody was to, to piss me off that bad. Piss off Elijah and try to have a fight with him. Now, yeah. with me. You've pissed me off, have a fight. We're going to be stroking. You know, there's a good chance I'm I'm probably going to KO your ass, and um, this is going to be a normal street fight. I feel like you got the, the Dempsey roll in the Yeah, lock, don't so get I, twisted. I feel, don't yeah, get twisted. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you uh, if you fight with DT. Oh, yeah. It's going to be an ass whooping. Yeah, yeah. But it's almost also going to have a street light feel. Once you're yeah. knocked out, <laughs> DT's going to be, you know, he's done. <laughs> with Elijah... That's it's not a it's, fight. It's a I have fucked up situation. That would be accurate. Yes, yes, yes cuz he is and always will be. <laughs> Don't, a no. fourth degree black belt. Like <laughs> it's not it, the fact I reserve fight cuz there's he will always will be <laughs> a, a big motherfucker that can move that in a flash. <laughs> this is this is the deal. Like I talked to Jessica and she's like and I'll go back to a little like after that he talked some more shit. Uh, uh, one lady up there, uh, Miss Vicky, comes out. I was like, "Why are you messing with this man? This man is two times bigger than you." And you, because he was still. She told me um, when I came back because I had to go back and pick up a shirt, which I got the wrong size. She goes, "He is still talking shit. He's out there on the phone telling I almost had knocked this nigga out." Da, 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 da. And I said, "Why are you?" And she said, "I talked." So whoever's on the other end, like, "Why are you lying on that big ass man that's about to put you down? You just <laughs> need to get in your truck and go." He uh, already all the way down the road. You wasn't talking all that shit when he was here because yeah. you got in your car. And uh. the deal that really pissed me off, like, I'm okay with you fighting. And, and and talking shit, it was it was one. It, I think it pissed me off because I was having a good day. Yeah, but he says, yeah, ain't nothing like you know your your good day being ruined by some some dumbass. asshole. And he goes, man, get away from my car for I pop you. I said, you ain't gonna do shit because you would already did it. If you had a gun, you'd have shot me by now and moved my fucking car. I yep. said, you the motherfucker that always wants to talk and don't do fucking shit. I w- do you need me to just stand here? Do I need to lay down so you can do something? Because if you don't fit, for him. Yeah, if you don't fucking feel comfortable, then shut the fuck up and go on about your day. Then he inched up behind my car so I couldn't pull out. He wanted me to pull forward. So I just sat there. Then he finally, I was like, yeah, you dumb bitch. Move your car back. And he moved back, and I was gone. And Jessica goes, you know what really made you mad? Is You couldn't fuck him up. You couldn't whoop his ass. And I was like, no. Yeah, yeah that's probably yeah, it. That's okay. That would have that made me mad, too. But. But at the end of the day, like it, another twenty minutes, I was like, you know what? I don't even felt like there's no. I don't look at people and be like, damn, that'd be a tough fight, or damn, 
I don't think I beat that person. It's like, damn, that's kind of sad because there's like a fight. And I, I use this uh, since we covered Arrow. There was a season four, I think, at the very beginning. Arrow is talking to Red Arrow or Green Arrow is talking to Red Arrow talking about use those moves. And those moves are only used to cripple people. And my definition of fight, and this is why I tell everybody, if somebody enters a fight with you, they're not leaving the same way. Whatever touches you is yours. If I, if you have to break that bitch off, that is yours from that day forward. You can wear that bitch around your neck if you want to. That is I, how you preach. He was not going to leave. He was going to leave about four feet shorter <laughs> and not be able to do fucking <laughs> bullshit. And it was like a a lightning bolt just struck, and then it was just I was just calm after that. I was like, it was calm, pissed off. I was like, man, I'm trying to have a good lunch with my wife. And now you done fucked it up. Now you done took time away from me that I can't get back. Well, I'm glad he didn't take more time away from you to exactly. the point where you may have gotten locked up. Yeah. Or well, some silly shit. Well, you know, I got I could have shaved this off, cut the hair. I would have been looking for somebody totally different. Yeah. But <laughs> that is my shut of a bitch of the millennium. Yes. <laughs> Do you have one? No. Okay, we've taken too much not. time away from the show. That's good. Yeah. Because I know last time we talked, you did have one. Yeah, no, this time. Um, mm-hmm. And we went to Tamashi. Uh, I got some, uh, you'll hear the commercial here in a bit. We'll take our next pause for the cause in a second. But Tamashi did not open on October 1st. It is pushed back until the 22nd, possibly the 22nd of this month or early November yeah. because uh, some of the, their freezers and some of the equipment didn't come in. But the place is already ready to go. So it as soon as they, that's what I heard. Yeah, and, I kind of went by there uh, the other mm-hmm. night and just kind of, nobody was there. I just kind of looked through the windows. Creeping. Creep, creeping. 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 Yeah. Creeping. Creep. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it I'm nice. excited. It's a lot bigger. Well, Kana said that she wants to invite us to the soft opening when they have it. Um, so she'll be hitting me up here. I probably need to check my phone today, but in Sweet. the next couple of days. So we'll go out there, and then we'll also host a, a live show out there. So you guys want to make sure that you're um, ready for that. Yes. Because it's always a great time. I know last time when we or when we went, we tried the crepe bar. And so it's like just little crepes rolled up like ice cream cone. And I got like marsh- or a s'more. Mm-hmm. So it's chocolate and marshmallow. And my wife got birthday cake. It was like little pieces of cake with frosting stuff. Yeah, I think stuff. when we went there, they hooked, uh, she hooked us up with one for free. It's uh, good. They had made, I guess, an extra one. And, uh, yeah, it was just like an ice cream sundae. Yeah. God, man. She told me the one that she hooked you up with, she dropped it on the floor. That's why. That's very nice yeah. of her. You got a little bit of dirt on it. At least she cleaned it. I uh, mean, the, the presentation was good. That's that's an illusion. It's magic. Uh, but, yeah, we watched Soul Eater and ate uh, garlic fried rice with karage. And now they have three types of ikezo. Not only the, the jelly-fused uh, peach ikezo, but they have a uh, berry one. So it's different berries. And then they have, like, a, a Japanese vanilla-ish type one. I tried all three of them. Ah, fucking amazing. With that being said, let's go and listen to their sh- commercial, and we will be uh, right back <laughs> on The Elijah Bailey Show. Join Oklahoma Humanities and Jad Abumrad from NPR's Radio Lab, along with some of the coolest humanities scholars from across the state, at the first annual Curiosity Fest on Saturday, October 20th at the Civic Center Music Hall in downtown Oklahoma City. Curiosity Fest will feature fun, interactive humanities programs all through the afternoon, including sessions on the history and meanings of internet memes, the cultural impact of late-night comedy shows, a discussion of Harry Potter and the meaning of life, the taping of a very special episode of the Brain Box podcast, and much more. Find out more about the programs at Curiosity Fest and get ticket information at okhumanities.org slash curiosityfest. If you're looking for a good podcast to listen to, check out AKA Steve and Demi. I'm Steve. I'm Demi. And Demi, I understand we're getting some good reviews for the show. We've got some great reviews, Steve. LA Times says exceptionally clean, smooth, and easy drinking. CNN said smooth, I mean really smooth. Spirit Journal, impeccable quality, Spirit, delicious. Spirit, sure. I don't, I don't know that those sounds like things you would hear from the L.A. Times. What, what are you reading? I, uh, I'm i just reading the label of a liquor bottle, actually. Yeah, that sounds appropriate. Yep. All right, a.k.a. Stephen Demi. Uh, you can find us on any podcast library, apparently. I guess we've really made it in the world. Just search a.k.a. show. I love watching anime. So do I. I watch it every day. So do I. The first place I go to check out for new anime 
loves Crunchyroll. Yes, Crunchyroll is this like connective world of anime. Crunchyroll delivers content from leading media producers directly to you, the viewers, translated professionally in multiple languages. You also get access to the simulcasts. Yes, and the great thing about Crunchyroll is Crunchyroll is a service that is available for free, but if you want to watch ad-free, all you have to do is become a premium subscriber for $6.99. So if you guys want to watch anime just like Monica and I do, go to Crunchyroll. Oklahoma's top ramen house, Tamashi, is once again changing the landscape of how authentic Japanese cuisine is served in the area. Tamashi Ramen House is opening up a second location in Edmond. That's right, there will be another location where you can eat delicious Japanese dishes, watch anime live, enjoy anime-inspired drinks, and so much more. Come down to 132 East 5th Street in Edmond on October 1st for the grand opening. You won't want to miss it. And we back. are back. Back, bitches. He, he kind of came in a little hot back, there. Back, bitches. He kind of came in. Three, four, five, bitch. Just a little hot. Yes. He came in just a little hot. What okay. we got coming up, baby? All right, so let's go ahead and switch. I want to watch these trailers. We're going to head right into Animation Man Man. I know everybody's like, where's the music? Where's the Animation Man Man music? We got new music on the way. Uh, you guys are going to enjoy it. First thing on the list, do you want to hit them with the high of the DBS, or do you want to go into Let's the Let's hit with the Tokyo, Tokyo goal, since that was something that we were um, teasing up to the last episode of the Elijah Betty, actually the Bugle, and um, I, I think I actually may have deleted the video on accident. That's all right. So here we so, go. We got the Tokyo Ghoul uh, live action trailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is going to be on Netflix, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, how far did you, are you still caught up on Tokyo Ghoul? No, I'm still in the beginning of the third season. Okay, so you're not so too like far. About it's only three seasons, through. isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I took some time off. I started watching it, and I was like, I jumped on something else. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys don't know the story of Tokyo Ghoul, ghouls are basically vampires. They have to feed on human flesh and blood. <laughs> and so our main uh, character, uh, Kaneki Ken, he idolizes this girl. And you kind of hit on it last time. He idolizes this girl at a uh, coffee shop and the coffee shop is a unique shop just for ghouls because tea can kind of curb their cravings and keep them from killing so many people it's like a special type of tea they got yeah and what they try to do is people that commit suicide at this at this uh railing of a bridge Mm -hmm. they try to get those bodies as soon as they know they're dying and you and eat that versus killing people so you have like it's almost like West Side Story. You have the ghouls that have their own agenda to take down man society. You have the investigative group that need that kill ghouls, get their special abilities, because each ghoul has a special set of, uh, like, wings, kind of. Mm-hmm. They're kind of like wings. You have, like, tentacles, wings. They all have different abilities based on their parents. And then you have the ghouls that want to live with humanity, which is also Kaneki. So that's what... Tokyo Ghoul basically and this is, is pretty much the first season, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it seems like it's just covering the first season. Was that it already? Yeah, yeah, that was quick. <laughs> I was that looking at a quick I was trailer. Like, okay, okay. But yeah, that's, minute fourteen. Yep, that was about a minute fourteen. And that's that's Tokyo Ghoul. So that's what we're looking forward to. We saw the live action of Bleach. Bleach really covered that first arc where Ichigo becomes a Soul Reaper. He meets Rukia. He meets um, uh, Renji and the rest of them before. He makes that jump to Soul Society or training to go to Soul Society. And I feel like this is going to cover the entire first season for Tokyo Ghoul. It should. It should. I'm excited for it. It looked really good, honestly. It, it's a lot slower than Bleach was. the first, like Because if you try this to cover... One? Yeah. To, because Tokyo Ghoul, you had maybe... You had the part where Kaneki gets beat up. Well, it was more of a normal story than Bleach. Yeah. Bleach yeah. was a story of... And I'm glad that, uh, from what I've heard, they was able to keep focus on the uh, live action version but yeah. the first season of bleach if you go back and watch it's all over the place it is because yeah. you're trying to tell two st- no because bleach has that issue they don't know how to tell a simple story it, without the fillers or with the yes fillers? without the fillers they don't okay. know how to tell a simple story they right. they, they they'll yeah. go to filler land and then they'll while you're in filler land they'll take you to another filler that is true and that's just that's <laughs> they just i mean they do a good job don't get it twisted but that's what they do that's and, what they do and tokyo ghoul like no matter how much time it takes in the between, dragon ball z timeline will ever make sense yeah i, I think tokyo ghoul has the uh the potential to be yeah because it's a normal story it's like a, a mob so and stuff like that when this comes out and did you see well we'll talk about that in a minute but veroni kenshin's at the top of the list as far as live actions mm-hmm. bleach is second up there right now 
Um, you haven't watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. They made that into a live action. It's almost like a. Now, I've seen like the. Are you talking about the anime or the yeah, live action? The, the anime. Yeah, I've seen episodes of it. Have you seen the, any of the live action? No. It feels. I know like, they had a live action. Yeah, it feels like they just take that episode. It's I like episode that, by yeah. episode. So it's more like a like weekly like Family Matters. It's pretty good though. Yeah, it's real good. Oh, it's real good. Not too much changes from the actual story because the story is already weird. It's, it's another vampire story. Yeah, weird so, shit. It's weird. But I feel like Tokyo Ghoul might take that second spot from Bleach because the way it'll go right into it. Uh, so what do we have next on the list? Uh, Dragon Ball Super. Yes. We got our second trailer for it's Dragon funny, Ball we're Super. A couple of people that was at work when we were just talking about it. They were mm-hmm. like, man, we need something, man. We need something. All we keep getting is just, you know, all this fan-made information, blah, blah. And, yeah, that's one thing that you do have to hate about the Internet, yeah. uh, especially the Internet is that everybody's got an opinion or got viewpoint opinion or, or, theory or, or, or and... theory or something like that. So, But here we go. We got uh, our first real sneak peek of where, I guess, the time error and the history that they're about uh, to give yeah. us. You because... know, Frieza, butt naked Frieza, mm-hmm. um, Big Daddy King Cole. Making the sand serve. You guys will work for us now. And it, it seems like it's real. We talked about this before, how it's gonna, we're going to get more stories of what Planet Vegeta was. I think, like you said, so now this is Bardock correcting. is actually about to be canon again. They're about to retell the stories. And, the, and I don't like his little square shoulder pads. You give him the ones that he had. Let him be the one that's different from everybody else. They gave him the standard, you know, no, brown and no, blue. No. But, but yeah, now, and this was funny because they show Prince Vegeta, they show Kakarot, and they show Bardock. The story that begins and, and ends. Brawley. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Who did I say before? You said Kakarot. Who's after Vegeta, that? Bardock. Uh, by, scrap Bardock. Put Brawley in that spot. Those three, those are the trinity of the Dragon Ball franchise, and that's what they're hidden on. Perungus, uh, Broly's dad, didn't want him to die. He's like, you sent my son off to a planet and starts chasing after him. Defies King Vegeta and goes after Broly because he feels like we'll find out in this film what he feels about his son. Uh, King Vegeta is like my heir, my son, my prince. You will be the greatest saying ever. And then Bardock... And you, it's interesting because you get to see that Bardock sends his son away with his, not wife, but who he's coupled with, uh, Gin, is it Jin, Jin, somebody Bardock like that. sends who? Like who he's coupled, Goku. Like in before, he never got to see Goku. He's running off to the pod when uh, Goku was, was getting shipped off. Was he running or he just didn't care? No, he was running because he ran in and tried to tell the Saiyans that Frieza was, was going to kill all of them. Yeah. Then he tried to go to the pod, but they had just sent him off. And so when they sent Goku off, that's when he launched into space and did up Frieza's dudes. And like, Frieza, you'll never, we're going to be free. Mm-hmm. And he got blasted. And he's like, oh, wait a second. He I got, got sent fucked to up. a different dimension. Yeah, the first version, he dies. Second version, which I guess is canon, he got sent back in time. To be the legendary saying that fights Frieza's grandpa that tells the tale to Frieza why he should kill this. It's like mm-hmm. you said, it's never gonna make sense. Never. But I uh, think, but I also heard rumors that almost every other saying is supposed to be in this picture. Uh, we're gonna see Nappa and Fasha and all of them we're that was Tarlis, with Bardock's team. We're oh, to see Raditz. We're okay. To see, yeah, we're supposed to see everybody. Okay. Supposedly, that's one of those uh, internet uh, information. Mission, so. Yeah. But it it seems like. They're making Bardock more of a family man in this film. Like, he was... Well, okay, four Saiyans, because Bardock was an unusual, an unusual Saiyan, because they're not supposed to couple. They're just supposed to fuck and have a kid and send it off. Who did he couple with? The girl that was up there is, is Jin, I think is her name. She Who? Brawley? Bardock. Bardock? Yeah, Goku and, and Raditz. Okay, okay. Dad, yeah, okay. Because she was not fit for combat. And but she was banging. No, that's Fosha you're thinking about. She never fought. She they put her in like the meat house to it's um God dang it. There's a deal where it's like they ask uh, Akira questions. Um I'll send it to you. It's an article long time ago and he answered these. He's like, Oh well, you know, I at that point in time I was done with saying I didn't want to have Every another Earth like story on saying the he's issue that old. I have with his uh Q and A session. Yeah. He just he's uh, always tired. He don't want to do yeah, shit. Yeah, he's always tired, he don't want to do shit. Much love to the dude, you know. He's done yeah, yeah, Pro- yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. but but he, he is he's like lazy the dude, as fuck. He's like the dude who creates a uh, Game of Thrones. You know, yeah. it's it's like at any given time he could tell you whatever, whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah, at that and time. you have to just take it. So take it, yeah. 
Yeah, so he's like, oh, yeah, I just didn't feel like doing Saiyans no more. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. I mean, he could. He no, could that's, have. Nah, that's not He could I mean. have. But it was, uh, they hinted that Bardock was a special Saiyan anyway. Um, and now it's like going back to like, oh, now mother and father are sending off their son Goku. So they're not like any other Saiyans that going to play into why Frieza hates him particularly. Because Frieza remembered Bardock, whenever he fought Goku on Nam, he's like, "You yeah, remind me, of my Bardock. Like, you remember that monkey tail boy who ran uh, up on him in the face?" And he's like, "Dude, you can't be doing that. You didn't kill all my warriors. I destroyed your planet, but you smiled at the end. Don't nobody smile when Lord Frieza's here, Master Frieza. Hey, our next picture, you're you're Master Frieza in the picture. I'm just mm, letting that's, you know. That's all you. That's all you. That's no, all that's you. Fine. But yes, so uh, this comes out." Is it Ju- uh, December 19th? December. It, it's in the teens. Yeah, okay. Yeah, some, sometime in December. Stay um, tuned. Now, next thing I want to hit is Kill a Kill gets a video game uh, that's getting ready to come out. They showed this at uh, Tokyo Games uh, 2018. And if you guys have, are not familiar with Kill a Kill, Kill a Kill is a very etchy show. So there's titties and ass, but it's also a comedy. It's kind of like the uh, I want to say adult version, but they're they're high school kids of Gintama because it's just crazy oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah, yeah. a girl that's super energetic; she's crazy. Her whole family's crazy. They have a dog that can that knows how humans talk and respond, and can drive cars and do all kind of shit. But for Kill a Kill, it's all it's about this girl. She loses her dad, and on his deathbed, he gives her half of a giant pair of scissors. He said, "Use this." To avenge me, the person that killed me has the other half of the scissors. Then, is, no spoilers. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's 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 a weird one. Yeah, but. It's, it's a weird one, but it's it's, it's definitely good. Uh, yeah. like said, it's been out for a while, so it's been a while since I go back to refresh it. But she goes to school, and the school is set up through like almost every other high school. They've mm-hmm. got the student council, and the president is like God. And, yeah. you know, you just kind of see how she struggles with trying to fit into the school and find the other half of the scissors. So I see what you're talking about. Um, it does have a I, – I love the art style of kind of specific. what the Dragon Ball Fighters fight, um, uh, artwork has went to. Um, more of a brighter colors. Um, and the which cell shading. That, is, yeah, yeah, which yeah. fits that because that's kind of how that anime fits a lot better. Um I like it better than Fighters just because they did throw the 3D element into it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, 2D fighting games, especially when it comes to Anime. animes, it, it just, just doesn't, doesn't feel right. right. Uh, wow, dude just transformed uh, His size felt like it got huge as crap. But I, I can kind of see what you're saying because, I mean, at the same time, it's still being published by the same developers when we publish all yeah. uh, anime games, Bandai Namco. And they have their Very in-house specific. studios. Well, yeah. they have their in-house studios and their mm-hmm. in-house um, engines that's going to run the same way. Mm-hmm. But I, I like it, and I, I love what they're doing because the fact, simple fact is who doesn't – a true anime lover, who doesn't want to play other games – that revolve around your particular anime. Exactly. Yeah, it might play like Naruto, or yeah, it may play similar to Boruto, or not Boruto, but uh, Black Clover, but it's your people. It's your story for this anime, and they're doing things that I ain't seen in, in the other, other games. games so, yeah, yeah, like, dude, this fight, I love the camera movement in it. Mm, they look the pretty exciting, man. Yeah, 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 this looks pretty good. So this will be on my shelf at the rest of my anime. You know what anime games I haven't picked up yet? Hmm. I haven't picked up Berserk, and I haven't. I haven't either. I keep looking at it all the time because it'd be at GameStop too. Yeah, and I haven't and, picked and, up and Attack on Titan on that. Yeah, because I'm I not think, gonna pick up Attack on Titan. I already done wrote I like, that off. I like you the played gear the first system. one, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't. I didn't pick that one up either. But I played the demo for it. And I like the gear and maneuver system and how you attack the Titans. That that's it's almost like Spider Man for anime. That's what I like about it. And I want to pick up the second one because it dives into the story. Not like it's going to be, oh, yeah. You dude, like that this clash. Is nothing you like, like any clash. other anime game, dude. I think, I think it's just it's it a do- fighting game. Yeah. And it's an anime. And you kind of get the same feel. But, yeah, it's No, nice. I don't get the same feel, No, man. I mean, like, well, when I you look at it, the first. I guess that does feel like a Naruto. It does. Because you're, you're do, you got the little jump. Um, and then you got the little juggling move, but they're just doing a, a super more. This is so nasty. A, a, a better job at making this. I think it's the color shading. Yeah. Uh, it fits more of that anime. But it feels. The Japanese words popping up. Just like the show. It's it's nice. 
the little, the little stars mm. that are popping up. With the transformations. I just love fucking... how the camera's moving back and forth. Like, no yeah. one's ever just... But I, I think that's how Naruto does it, too, though. They On some things. Because they, they want to get that close view that you get when you're watching the show. Like, when the shinobi does a clash and pff, moves right past them, or the old samurai clash. Mm-hmm. They do specific ones, but this one just Did you goes... play the shinobi striker? Yes. How was it? Yes, I did. It was all right. It, it reminded me of Black Clover, but it's a better version of Black Clover because you had the element that you could walk on walls, on water. You could go up into the atmosphere, down below. Uh, there is four people. I mean, you're a four-person team. Uh, There's a lot more aspects that made it more enjoyable than Black Clover, but since I'm on a Black Clover kick, it was mm-hmm. nice to see Yami as young and yeah. old. Are you it all was caught nice. up on Black Clover? No, I'm not. I, I'm catching up, though. I'm like six episodes behind. I know. I watched all of... Man, I've been watching a whole bunch of stuff. Goblin Slayers came out. Uh, Radiant came out. How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. I watched when that. It's black. I know. I watched Clover. it in sub and dub. I know. I'm so getting where on, are I'm you on. at? Let me uh, just laugh at you. <laughs> Okay. But knowing why. Let I'm me give you the episode. You. Hang on. Let me go back and get the episode. Wow. Number. Six episodes behind. Yes, Dude, yes, Black yes, Clover yes. yes. Like, okay. Black Clover it, is... Was it when they were at the beach? Right before. Because that was a little slow because they were rebuilding up to the next arc. Because uh, 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 I saw, like, I crept. I crept and I saw when uh, Asta the demon came out. Did you see that? You don't know what you're talking about, boy. You know what you're talking no, about. No, I know what I'm talking about. Because I saw that episode. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, because they're on episode 52. I'm on 47. So we're going through that. But I also skipped. Why are you skipping? Because I wanted to see <laughs> what I was missing. I skipped. I started skipping on 41. So I got a, I got six from the end, but I have a couple to go ahead and go back on. Uh, but I wanted to keep up. When Aust- I since the first episode, I wanted to see that demon. I wanted to see what that black figure was. So I was like, no, I got to watch this. And then Yami came out, and he taught them a lesson with his sword. And then we also had Julius doing his thing. I had to show Monica some stuff. So I'll get back on it. I know what you're talking about, son. No, I'm not, I'm not listening to you right now. I ain't talking about, son. Let's do this. Let's take our next. No, no, he's talking about. Whatever. Oh, before we end. Yami anime... did his thing with his sword. What are you? That's disrespectful no SOB. i said the demon came out when he was the fighting demon, the old boy with the hair demon didn't come out though uh he turned half black it didn't come all the way out he turned Just, half black he's using his sword he was borrowing powers like he has with his new with what was it a second or third new hey, sword hey, just stop no because none of that's right <laughs> yeah okay whatever it does look like he's borrowing powers but that's what he did. He's not. He didn't do that with what's his name. No, he's, it's not like the same fight. Because that's actually what Brett – it's similar, but it's different. Uh-huh. Because um, Brett prediction was he's going to borrow someone's power like he did uh, when he fought uh, the Diamond Dude. Yeah, when he could negate it. Yeah. But he, and then he did that when they were in the office with all the, the, the other colonels and stuff when they got into the fight. Sure, he did. Yeah. But it's not the same. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's greatly different. Okay. Yeah. And then his yeah, demon – it's more of like, so you you, you see summons, hints like, of him. You know? No, you see him hints in the uh, in the in the opening. Yeah, because they show him, but it, he really doesn't like. He just he doesn't come out. He's not physically attacking. Uh, he just Asta just has energy now, not magic, but he just has energy. Considering like the fight that he just de- mm, dealt with, yeah. he's able to still go. So I was surprised he didn't are, die from the stuff that was happening to him before Yami got there. Yeah, because certain people are able to look at him like, wow, he is like completely different. Yeah. But it wasn't like the demon was fighting or anything like that. It's just. Because they call it, because uh, I know when that came out, they were talking about the DLC for Black Clover Quarter Night is uh, Asta Awakening. Yeah. Or Demon Awakening. That's why I was like, oh, yeah, so no, okay, so. no they, the demon did not lay any hands. And then when Yami came in, Yami, he literally cut dimensions. That's what made that was so right. He literally, like. But he gave him a speech while they did it, too. Uh, he gave him the, the Captain Yami speech. Yeah, you know what Captain yeah. Yami did. Yami. But he, he cut the dude in a way that was like, I don't give a damn what dimension or universe you in. You're going to feel this motherfucker. Yeah. And he felt it. He it's felt good. it. But I will catch up. Yes, on please episode. do. Please Before do. Because we... next episode is pretty good, too. I know. I know. Do you know who they were fighting? No, I don't even know who that was. I just saw it come like See, a clip See, that's the wrong part. You remember that? You remember old boy when they were fighting Lit? The the beast dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're fighting him in his most okay. power, purest, purest form. form. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
yeah. I will catch up. Disrespect. Hey, 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 I'm sorry. Okay. Before we uh, take our next bit of break, before we get into uh, the video games, we got a new trailer. Uh, we got new gameplay for Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, and then we have some news from the DC Universe. Hit them up with Anime of the Month. Mm. Don't do not do that into the mic. Mm. Junji Ito, the collection. Tell them just a little bit. Junji Ito is a, <laughs> actually a, a, a manga creator in Japan who writes uh, short horror stories and I'm talking about the most gruesome horror stories that you could think of. So picture old school Tales of the Crypt uh, times 10 and Japanese art form. Well, they have taken that art form and made it into a 12-episode anime series that has actually each episode has two different stories in it. So every time you go into it, be prepared to see the most gruesome things yeah. such as have you ever seen a neighbor that's old as shit and who wants to molest you? No, I haven't. Have you ever went camping with a model that has a million teeth in her mouth? No. And tall as fuck? No. And looks like a cannibal? Yes. Well, well then yeah. you have seen some parts of the Juni Ejo collection. So check it out on Crunchyroll, Funimation, and, of course, VRV. You know the one that, that is I, our anime of the month. That I watched last Because it's night. horror, and we're yeah. in October. I watched the one Get where... that Netflix <laughs> chilling horror yeah, that shit one. and That's watch what... some real shit. No, I actually, I went and watched the episode where, <laughs> where the uh, parents wanted to keep their daughter. She turned into a doll. And it's like, I can't see why other people are killing their kids. And I'm like, oh, okay, now I know. Like, it immediately turned around like, hey, we need to light this bitch on fire. She is stinking. Which all did you watch? How far did you get? Uh, I watched uh, up until that point, like right after that. And then... Uh, so, so no, far, no, like, wait what, a second. what story stands out the most? To oh, you. that one because I didn't get to finish it. Oh, okay. I, I have another... That's a killer about it. a lot of them. They actually end on a cliffhanger, and you have to use your imagination to figure out how it's yeah. going to end. It plays into human psychology because that's what we hardcore. We, even if we have a, an ending to a movie, we still want it to make sense to Did us. Did you see the episode where uh, the guy he was um, he had a wife and everything, and um, uh, he kept getting these headaches and. She was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? He was like, the family lineage, the family lineage. Like, I, you know, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's about to start. It's about to start. And she was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. He opens up this door, and you see, like, his dad or his grandfather, and his head is, like, mm. long as crap. Uh-uh. And it no. connects to his somehow. And whenever he gets to this certain point, he is he, he absorbs his grandfather and everybody else's knowledge. And his mm. head is huge, and he's stuck there. And uh, it looks super nasty. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I didn't see that one. Yeah. There's That's another one. one where these people get these, like, holes burrowed into their bodies when they pick up this little cursed bee. That one remind me of, Mor- uh, what's the name from, uh, Inuyasha. Moroku? It was no, I didn't say Moroku. Um, Inuyasha, Sango, uh, Kagome, Shippo. The monk. Yeah, the monk. Who are, The lecherous monk always touching people's asses mm-hmm. and stuff. But, yes, yeah, so check it out. The Junji... Ito, Ito collection. I was gonna watch, but my neighbor, uh, caught, I had to go outside for a little bit. Like you need know, to take the dogs out. You know how he's throwing gravel on the uh-huh. yard. Ever since I threw that shit out on his side, he don't do it no more. But he sat there, sitting there watching. And so we go out, and dogs walking on the side of the house. A fucking like this big, like a old ass toy car that don't work no more. Wheels off of it and boxes just on like on the grass. I was like, you didn't even try to put this in your trash. So I took all my dogs over, let them piss on it, and, or I put the shit over and let them piss on. Like pick that shit up and put it in your trash can. See, Elijah Everybody. has another son of a bitch. We're gonna keep the show pushing. <laughs> We're gonna take uh, a next commercial wait break. The manga of the month. I'm gonna do that before we get into the commercial. Oh, okay. So manga of the month. Since you told us anime of the month, it is my. Little Monster. Uh, This story is a love story, and it's brand new. It's only, I think, 16 chapters. I do. I think I'm on chapter two right now. But after Suzuka, a girl whose sole interest is studying, is asked to deliver some uh, handouts to Haru, a boy who hasn't come to school after spilling blood on his first day, she finds herself the target of his affection. Uh, the story about a boy and girl who struggle with love and friendship. Opening yourself up to other people forces you to have honesty with yourself. That is what this manga is about. It's pretty funny. There's a lot of comedy in it, but it is a love story. It's something different than what we normally pick, but that is Manga of the Month for you guys. Uh, click on the hyperlinks of the description of the show, and it'll take you to Anime of the Month and Manga of the Month. And with that, let's take our next pause for the cause. <laughs>
If you're winning love by daylight but still having to fight evil by moonlight, you probably have a lot of other necessary daily things piling up at home. If your ultra mega busy schedule hasn't left you time to do anything, hire an Animaid. Animaid will take care of your home base while you take care of everything else. Head injuries can be serious, and if you find yourself consistently being hit, smacked, or have an unusual amount of objects fall on your head, you need to have the No Trauma Drama app installed. At first contact, the Trauma Drama will instantly begin playing music and sounds positively known to keep you awake while simultaneously alerting the closest conscious response team. They'll get you back on your feet as if you've never been injured in the first place. Hey guys, it's Elijah 5000 here, and one of the things that brought me and the Bucket together, as you know, is anime. We love it so much, we still watch it today. We have our wives watching it. The Bucket has his kids watching it. And one of the places that we love to go watch anime is Funimation. They put the fun in animation. Duh, it's in the namesake. If you want to partake in the same fun that we do daily, go to Funimation.com today, create an account for free, and get a 14-day free trial to watch all the anime that you want. No ads, no hassle, just pure, unadulterated anime. Again, Funimation. They put the fun in animation. Wow! Yes, and you can't see me because I'm John Cena. We're back, and now it's time to go into... The memory anime card. Anime swap, swap, swap. We already did anime watch swap. Penis. Or we didn't do anime watch. That's a little bit of anime, you <laughs> fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got a new trailer. Uh, we got some new gameplay for Red uh, Dead. Kill a kill. Yeah, Red <laughs> Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> this is remind me of the Midas Touch right now. Yes. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull that up. Because when this came out, uh, I'm I'm loving the the expansive world that Rockstar has continued to create. Coming off of uh, beating Spider Man, I'm Holy ready for shit. this. One. What? Keep going. Yeah, I was just saying I, I beat. Some- I'm I'm ready for it too. Uh, I'm I'm really <laughs> excited. Uh, hey, is Baki out on Netflix? I'm not sure if it's out yet. So they're making it. Netflix just haven't dropped it because it's not done. They're on episode 16. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Subbed. Yeah. Like, I tried to, like, remember I showed you the clip of Dopo fighting the yeah, Swedish guy? Yeah, I thought guy? that was just, like, their trailer that they put out. No, no. That's actually episode content? Yeah. Oh, shit, dude. Anyways. Bucky, um, yeah, it's not out on Netflix yet. It just says 2018 in the spot, but it's coming out. But, yeah, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, more expansive, explosive world. As you guys are watching actual gameplay right now, we're following Arthur, who is our main protagonist, through this as he is... Um, in the middle of a shootout. So we get to see some game mechanics. We get to see a lot of the environment, the earth. Uh, but coming off of Spider-Man, who they give you the entire city, they give you interaction with the people of the city, no matter what you do, makes that whole ecosystem work cohesively. And that's what it seems like we're getting here with Red Dead Redemption, which is one of my favorite Western games uh, by far. I thought it was Red Dead Revolver until they made the first Red Dead Redemption, and I've been waiting for the second one ever since. Mm. Yeah, I'm I'm super excited, too, to the point where I saw uh, halfway through this trailer, yeah. and I just stopped. I mean, like, I... Because you want to be I, surprised? I don't... Well, no, just I don't need any more selling. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, like, I am... True. I am 100% geeked up. so geeked up. I've even done the same thing with Soul Calibur. You know, I mm. saw my characters come out, Because they did the community build trailer they just released that like a couple hours and and i watched a little bit of it and they Mm -hmm. did their part one today as as well uh talking about uh the tournaments and all that stuff but i'm I'm good i'm good like i am sold on it it. i already know i'm getting it on october 19th i know i'm getting red dead these are only two games i'm buying Mm -hmm. uh here coming up big games yeah um and i'm excited about red dead i'm like super super what console are you picking up on uh, PlayStation. PlayStation. Po- uh, I I've say never picked up a Rockstar game on PlayStation, but this will probably be my first. I, it's weird because I do Grand Theft Auto on Xbox, mm-hmm. and I do Red Dead for PlayStation. Mm. It's just because that's what I started on. I played Red Dead Revolver on PS1 on my Sony, and that's kind of how like Madden games, 
for a long time, they only had to be on my PlayStation. And I've since then crossed over and put them on Xbox because of the community. And I, yeah, you know, playing, I, I think for me, it all depends on which console Damn, I get. Uh, I'm picking up Tomb Raider for Deandra. Mm-hmm. Uh, depending on what console I get her that, I'll probably pick up the opposite. For, for okay. Yeah. For that way, we're on not, PlayStation. Yeah, yeah not, not hogging. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I know Jessica's going to get on this as well as, uh, like right now, she's kind of sitting back and watching Spider Man. Then we're getting on Arc uh, together. But I know as soon as this comes out, yeah, 16 some episode block, just FYI. Uh, I know. 16. I know. Hey, I've already read the manga, though. So I've I'm, read the manga about this, yeah, too. But yeah. still. And this I'll, is watch, when he's in I'll watch Sub. I'll watch the sub. I'll watch sub too. I just don't watch it at work because it's kind of too yeah, hard. Yeah, distracting. But there is one anime that I'm going to find for you while we're uh, yeah. hitting on this that I I did start last Saturday, and it's sub. It has a completely different feel on it. Um, is this the one you're telling me about the Chinese, the Korean the one, one that feels like it's Chinese? Okay, um, but I'm not 100 sure. This is just me. I'm not under even though I don't speak Japanese. You're I can understand Japanese voices. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. These words that they're saying. Don't Japanese. feel like it's Japanese. There's a Korean one that I need to send you that came out like a while ago, and it's it is brutal. What's it called? I don't remember the name because it it only had I saw it was like a like an OVA, and I saw it, but it was brutal. Like everybody's dying, and then there's another one where it's like two demons fighting in a football field. Have you seen that one? I have not. I thought that was uh, Japanese animation, but apparently that was. Uh, Maybe it was Korean as well, but there's two of them like that, and it's like heavily influenced with the the brutality and the gore of anime. And sto- story is not too bad, but it's a different feel. It's more what's that um, crouching tiger, hidden dragon kind of feel. Yeah, that's yeah, how I that's feel exactly this one how I feel, too. Yeah, yeah, I wonder if we watch talk about the same one. But um, you guys have to get Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> so yes. Going back to Anime Man Anime because it's looking really, really good. Uh, it's amazing. Now, if you watched yesterday as we were streaming live, you saw the DC Universe's Harley Quinn show coming out. Mm-hmm. Fucking phenomenal. But because this video will get banned on Facebook and Twitter for playing, or for Twitch for playing it, we're not going to go ahead and play that. But... We have one more thing that we got. We want to fill you guys in on because we are going to do uh, our challenges. We have our challenges every week, every pretty much every day, like anime versus comics challenge, anime versus anime, comic Holy versus comic. Shit! What'd you find out, man? I'll be real with you, dog. What? I love being legit. Yeah, and straight and arrow nowadays. Mm-hmm. You know. Having Funimation account, uh, having. <laughs> um, but who who's doing it for right you right there. now? Um, having Funimation accounts, having, you know, VRV paid subscription, um, having, you know, Crunchyroll subscription and Netflix and Hulu. But man, I miss, I miss the mother boys. <laughs> Why is that? Because, because they, they coming out. Well, they, they, they just keep you up more up to date on what's new. Yeah. I mean, they uh, have the uh, no, they have the ability to because they don't have the the copyrights, the license, that stuff. I know, man. Do you know this? You know they came back with uh, uh, you remember this? Did yeah. you know that came uh, back? No, 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 no. None of us knew. No, none of us knew. It and they're on four episodes. It happens though. It you got to understand with the industry, they can't always. And I have, understand. Okay. But I know but how you I feel. Know I know how I need you to feel. make a decision in my or life like, <laughs> on what, where I'm spending where, my money and my time for these fucking animals. And if I'm spending my money and my time on some old shit, yeah, when they got the stuff that we've been begging waiting for, for begging, dude, for. that that blows my mind. Did you, and you have you heard Yu Yu Hawker shows coming back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I can't say nothing on that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, folks, this just in. <laughs> we we might have to be. What is that on, kids? You know that song? Okay, okay. I ain't gonna say their name on the show. Okay. I don't want to say their name on the show. Okay. Well, but, there's there's been some decisions made here, folks. Like, like you might even finding, bleep that out. Like, oh yeah, that'll be taken out. Do you These see that though? Going. Yeah. No, I see it. Do you see that? I see it. I you feel don't it. see it. I feel it and I see it. I understand what you're saying. I want. I understand. I want these to be put on Crunchyroll VRV Funimation so we can help out the industry. That does fucking suck, though. That Did you know that was that. out? No, I didn't. 
I didn't hear anything about. The only thing that I've heard about is Baki for Netflix because Netflix has been pushing. And we've been knowing that, but at the same time, I guess we should have known that it was Netflix ain't going to release it until it's all the way done. Yeah, so we should have known that it had been kind of recording. But yeah, Mm. this okay, and you ain't seen it yet. You ain't seen like because I actually when, just I was just scrolling down. I'm still looking for that one anime I was telling you about. When uh, and um that just that that and Baki and then the uh, what's uh, name popped uh, up? No Seraph, yeah, um just popped up. Okay, this, that might be the place to go to get Yu Yu before it comes out because I'm ready to see what he a Yusuke Karama and and uh uh. What's orange orange hair do? Was Chris Sabat? Who do you uh, uh, Kuabara. Kuabara. Kuabara yeah, Botan's up to. But that being said, we have a, a battle coming up next episode. We don't have enough time. It's gonna be our dirty dozen battle where we each pick a certain number of anime characters and have them face off head to head. That's what we're gonna do at the top of the show next time. Is there anything else that you want to leave with people uh, um, for this show? Because we did anime and manga of the month. We hit uh, the DC Network, just go to patreon.com for slash Elijah Bailey show. That's been posted there, as well as our battle of the day. We do different battles all the time. Comics versus anime, uh, comic and comic, anime versus anime. I know that there was uh, uh, Kingpin versus, um, God dang it, what's his name? Now I'm tripping on his name because I did, there was a lot of Kingpin battles this week. There's Kingpin oh. and Bane, Kingpin and... Um, uh, Black Mass, Kingpin, and he's real heavy set, real big dude from um, uh, f- pff, Fat Janimba. Fat Kingpin versus Fat Fat oh, Janimba. Fat Janimba okay. Because Fat Janimba had the teleportation, but he was still playful. Where Kingpin is only two percent body fat. You know, there's a new Star Wars along too. Yep. Yeah, I yeah. did see that, that one. That one came out. Yeah, yeah that came that out on Crunchyroll as well as uh, Goblin Slayer, the one that we talked about. Radiant, uh, new seasons of shit. Hey, come, come on, man! No, Don't hey, give me the hey, look. Let's, I'll give them their. You can what, give them their two, due, and two, then you're gonna give them two, <laughs> give them two, some shit. Hey, two compared okay, to the two. shit we just saw. I know, it's it's hurting my heart though. That hurt, man. It hurts. Especially the the Kuriko? Yeah, there's this. You gotta have the oh. Miracle Generations getting together. You gotta have the Winter Cup. There, there's uh, which we've been ho- we've been waiting on been for like, how there's, long? There's three uh, OVAs out for that. I think. Oh, I'm not sure. I think there's three because oh, I, I knew the Winter Cup and there was one something else coming. One of them just coming. got updated. Yeah, because uh, Kuroko and Taigo are supposed to be joining the Generation of Miracles for a tournament. Like there it is, Grandmaster of Demonic uh, Cultivation. Mm. Is that the one you were talking about? Yeah, that looked like uh, the, the um, Crouching Tiger, yeah, Hidden yeah, yeah, Dragon yeah, yeah. had the had the Chinese Korean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. that's the one I, I was watching. Is, is that so? What is is that Korean? I think so. They're, they're not that's speaking what, Japanese. That's what I heard that it's Korean. You haven't heard I'm it not yet. Sure. Okay, no, I'll, that's I'll, what I heard. By it. I'm not sure. I took it like it's. I know it's not Japanese. Okay, so you, is, you're on my back with that's yeah. not Japanese. No, okay. no, no. You can you can tell because like coming from a, a Okinawan style them, and a Korean dog. style, you kind of hear me. something. I, I, I miss them, man. Hey. Huh? But it's hey, but you don't need them in your life. Yeah, that's just I a do. no. You don't. <laughs> I know you're gonna go back. Oh, a boy. You, hey, you're gonna have to pull a Matt Murdock and have I, some redemption. I am, I am ghosting. Oh. Oh yeah, the only I just I know they got a lot of pop ups and they always change. They got a lot of they got a lot of. Uh, hey, we you gave know, them shout outs. We gave them shit. shout outs for about forty episodes. Yeah, they didn't show us no God. love. Yeah. But I can say we haven't heard shit from nobody else <laughs> either. Uh, but, but yeah, <laughs> uh, no, we want to thank everybody for uh, hanging out with us on this uh, lovely Monday, October eighth, uh, Columbus Day, actually. Uh, what did you do? Yeah, that's why um, them kids is out of school. Yeah, um, my kids ain't. Well, our neighbors are fucking shitty kids. Anyway, uh, so uh, one other thing I want to leave it on is that um, nice, uh, very good. Uh, is that um, I'm forcing Elijah Bailey to show to be a part of the uh, extra life uh, event that we're having at the end of the month, and more details coming soon. <laughs> are you still coming next Friday? Yeah. To the ass whooping. Yeah. The uh, uh, buck fuck everybody <laughs> festival. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Yes, I am. I've. Uh, Did you get I, to see the preview last uh, y- yesterday? I saw. A li- I saw a little bit until it froze up, and I was like, what? "Yeah, I was having weird issues with it." Um, so, but I was glad that it was a- it would even freaking stream a little bit. It's okay. I think it's a PC issue, but yes. Yeah, we'll, the we'll get buck. 
Fuck. And we'll festival. be streaming it from everywhere. Yes. So you guys will be able to see That's the soul. That's what I'm going to call it. The Buck, the buck fuck, fuck Festival. Festival. Okay. Buck Fuck Festival 2018. Soul Calibur 6, October 19th. Starting at what time? Uh, the game comes out on that day. Uh, I'm picking up my copy around noon. Mm-hmm. So I was going to bring it coming up here straight after that. Oh, okay. So I haven't okay. got official time yet. Okay. Because I'll be off. Two, three. That's the time I was thinking about doing my three ish, four ish. Yeah, I gotta and check my schedule. They've been changing my, my just hours. Just having it going like me for three hours. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they've just been changing my hours, so I'm not completely sure. But I did have to go in. Like everybody's just fucking with me. I said, like, "Hey, uh, I'm off on Sunday." This happened like a couple days ago. I was like, "I'm off on Sunday. I'm not coming in tomorrow. That's my off day." Mm-hmm. And I took pictures of it. Here, you do what you need to do to make sure. I don't get no points deducted, but I ain't going to be here tomorrow. I ain't coming in. I ain't fucking coming in. And I ain't coming back to that legal world, dog. <laughs> they got some oh, no, shit. we got to do. Oh, are you joking, man? We had. Oh, crap. I did that. Okay. Sorry. Maybe... I moved it to your folder. That's okay. No, it shouldn't matter on this computer. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're trying to get the right. You can find everything on Black Studios at blackstudios.com on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can email us at podcast at blackstudios.motherfucking.com. You can find everything that you want and need to know about the Elijah Bailey Show. Be register and everything. <laughs> the official Elijah Bailey Show Facebook page, Elijah Bailey Show, or Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, at Elijah Bailey Show. Without the W on the end, that's just S H O. Right now, tell him. <laughs> you gotta go. <laughs> Make sure to send your emails to Elijah Bailey Show at gmail dot com. If you don't like sending emails, go ahead and just subscribe, rate, and review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or Podbeam, where you can listen to this show. If you want to watch us live every Sunday, I know today's Monday, but on Sundays at 2 p.m., go to twitch.tv forward slash Elijah underscore 5000 or Facebook Live on facebook.com forward slash Elijah Bailey Show. Other than that, the Buckety, the Fallen Angel, and Elijah 5000 will we catch your out. ass in the next podcast. We're out. I'm out. What's up, everybody? Elijah 5000 here. Me and the Buckety appreciate it so much that you download this show each and every week. Again, we drop every Thursday. If you're new to the Elijah Bailey Show, go to Apple Podcasts, Podbean, or Spotify, or wherever you listen to this auditorial pleasure that you get weekly, and just subscribe, rate, and review. Thank you, and I'll catch your ass in the next podcast.